tell me a story from work, Auntie. My 12-year-old niece had been fascinated by stories from the ER and the helicopter as long as I could remember. Her younger sister, on the other hand, wanted no part of it. She covered her ears and sprinted out of the room. It wasn't because she didn't care, but because she could not bear the thought of people being sick or hurt. Well, I don't have any stories that would be appropriate for you today. Then tell me something inappropriate. I laughed. For the most part, I would kept the stories age appropriate, but I also wanted to let her know about life, reality. We all know how gut-wrenching some of these stories can be, but sharing these stories was never about scaring her. It was about preparing her. Somewhere in the midst of these stories, I hoped that she'd learn something about how to be safe as she grows up and how to cope when the chips are down. Plus, she was honestly curious about how and why things happen to people. She has always been brave enough to ask and brave enough to listen and hopefully wise enough to learn from the experiences of others. One day, her line of questioning changed. Have you ever been in a car accident, Auntie? I have. Nothing serious, though. Have you ever been in a helicopter accident? Yes. She was silent, serious. I knew that someday more questions would come, but not today. She wasn't ready to know, which was fine. Her life didn't depend on knowing. But I thought of all the others who did not want to hear it and why they didn't want to hear it. Those stories scare people. They make us look bad. That is what is scaring people? The stories? Here's what scares me. Since the beginning of our industry, 40 years ago, there have been 374 air medical crew members killed in the line of duty, hundreds of survivors, and thousands with experiences we could all learn from. Where are the stories? Where is the data? Where are the lessons? The accidents keep happening, and we wonder why. Tell me a story.